Hi folks, welcome back to our video series, Working with Shared Components. We're going to be taking a look at the social icons. Let's take a look at our example page first. Right, in our demo page, here we have some social icons up at the top. Depending on which template you're working with, they may or may not be visible in the page. These are one of the components that we will sometimes turn off depending on the aesthetic that we're trying to achieve when developing the template. But the component itself is always included in your package. You may need to just turn that component on in order to see it. So let's jump in here, shall we, and talk a take a look at the two things we can do. We can remove certain icons, or we can add more icons, and we can even replace the icons you see in the page with different icons. Let's jump into Dreamweaver. And we're going to expand the library folder, the shared folder, and the social icons folder. And we're switched right over to the design view. There we go. We have five by default. Now to remove an icon, select the icon you want removed. For example, the Google Plus. Once you select it, go down to the quick tag selector bar. You'll see the image tag, then you'll see the A tag. Click the A tag, press delete on your keyboard. Now if you see the icon to the left or the right of the one you just removed sort of scooch over a little bit and look like they're side by side, don't worry too much about that. It's just a trick of the design window. If we actually look at it in a preview of our page, we'll see that they do line up properly. So it's just a little trick in the, of the design window, nothing to worry about. Now, let's say we want to replace an icon. We like, the, we like having five, but we want to replace the Google with something else. We can just use the uh, Select Image tool by double-clicking on the icon, like so. We can open up the Select Image tool. Now, you'll probably start off with something looking like it's in the Website folder. From there, go to the Site folder, the Icons folder, and the Images folder. From here, you can select up to 53 different replacement icons. Well, if you have five there, that puts it down to 47. But you can go through the list and you can take a look and see, hmm, Vimeo, yes, I want a Vimeo icon in here instead. I want it to replace my Google icon. Well, if you're not sure which size to select because there are three different sizes, you can just sort of have a little bit of a look down here at the existing icon name. If it has a dash M, it's a medium. If it has a dash S, it's small. If it doesn't have a dash at all, it's the large one. In this case, it's the medium, so we'd pick the medium icon right here, select it, and click OK, and now it's been replaced in our page. All that's left to do is go down to the links section right here. We're just going to back out the existing link, and then we're going to type in a new link to our Vimeo account and then slash whatever the account name is or whatever the page within, within your Vimeo account would be. The same goes for any icon. If you're updating it, simply select the icon, change the link down here. Just like a regular image in your web page, because that's really all it is. It's just an image on the page that's hyperlinked to a particular uh, website. You just change the address and the link to link to your particular uh, account in that website. Now, if you want to add more icons, let me show you the quickest and easiest way of doing that. Select an existing icon, for example, the Tumblr. Go down to the Quick Tag selector and click on the A tag. Edit, copy, put your cursor to the right, edit, paste. It's going to create a duplicate, and now you can use the Select Image Source by double-clicking on the image to find a different icon to use and then you can just simply change the link down here to link to a different website. The key when working with the icons is to make sure that you don't have a height or a width associated with them. Just like any image that you're applying in any of your pages, if you assign a height or a width to those images, they will not be responsive. They will not resize accordingly on smaller devices. Now, in most of the uh, responsive designs that we create, the things like the social icons and whatnot will probably be removed simply because if there's a great big row of 10 icons they're not going to fit overly well into a small into a small smartphone screen uh, but they may be there it really depends you'd have to actually preview it on your phone to see what is enabled and what's not enabled uh, because this is sort of a general tutorial 
talking about uh, all of our templates. 